food. Um, Panda Express. I like to call this the land, sea, and air. Army, Navy, Air Force. Yeah, you got your land, you got your Beijing beef, you got sea, you got these uh, honey walnut trout. And then for air, you got chicken, because, you know, them fires can fly. But I was uh, thinking about this story that happened, and... Uh, bombed in front of Eddie Murphy hard hard bomb you know I want to put this food down thought I could do like some sort of mukbang storytelling but I know if I do that I'm gonna end up choking on Tramp or my Beijing beef, but yeah, I was um, a long time ago. I was doing uh, there's a show Thursday nights at the comedy store, it was upstairs in the belly room, crack 'em up Thursdays, and uh. I was wasted drunk, wasted drunk. Entire black audience. I go up there in a Zanku chicken t-shirt with a beer in hand and I crank out the black jokes and they absolutely loved it. It was incredible. And then later on that night, my friend Leslie Jones, who I love dearly, she came over to me and she goes, listen, I got a gig for you if you want it. It pays 75 bucks. It's at an after hours club in Arlington Heights. And I was like, all right, what have I got to lose? But it was also, I didn't know this, it was uh, supposed to start at 2 a.m. after the bars closed, hence after hours club, but it didn't get started until 4.30 a.m. And we, I remember, like, there was nobody there for, like, a good two hours. We, like, Leslie and I got there at 2 a.m. And there was a cordless mic. We were walking around the place, and I remember Leslie was just like making jokes about everything that was in there, all the decor. And as she's walking, uh, she has a microphone in her hand, and she bumps nose to nose with Eddie Murphy. And I just remember her jaw dropping, and then her just screaming as loud as she could. She's like, ah! It was, it was hysterical. And, yeah, I uh, didn't get on stage until 4.30 in the morning. I did the same jokes that I did at Crack 'em Up Thursdays, and they did not crack them up on Saturday or Sunday morning, however you want to look at it. And, yeah, it was, uh, Eddie Murphy was there. I kid you not, as I'm doing my black jokes... He is about five feet away from me. And I'm like, so you heard the old saying, why don't you go black, you're a single mother. And the place went silent. And I just remember him shooting like animating lightning bolts of hate and disgust at me. It was just absolutely, uh, it was a bomb. 
Yep, bombing's just part of the comedic experience. Yep, Eddie Murphy didn't like my black jokes, but... I got another story about Eddie Murphy I'll tell later, but... As of right now, I'm gonna have some more Chinese food. But yeah, I bombed in front of Eddie Murphy hard. And Leslie told me she did too, but I don't remember that part. But she's awesome. Alright, I'm out of here. You guys take care. I'll talk to you laters. Bye.